Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about how to build OpenJDK from source. So the other day I got an email in one of the many email lists that I follow that there was a performance improvement in one of the image libraries and I had a problem with Java when generating images because it's much slower in newer versions of Java and the older versions uh, were much more performant. So I thought maybe I can build this improvement in and just try it out using the source code even though it's not in the actual release yet. And the code change was very minimal so I didn't have to do that much. I just had to figure out how to build OpenJDK. And it turns out that was not that complicated. So first off I went to this site hg openjdk java net. So hj.openjdk.java.net. Here you have the source code and in a lot of different branches. So here you can download the different commits or you can actually follow along while the source code is built on. So this is pretty much the git repository for for the Java source code. And here I looked for JDK. So when I found that project in here you can find the different versions. I went to JDK 13 because I wanted an official release of that. And then you see here, here you have all the different commits for this uh, JDK and what, which person has done that commit. And I looked at top here, we have J. William five weeks ago has added the specific tag for the um, general availability. So this is the actual source code that is built for JDK 13. So if I go into this tag here on my left hand side here I can actually download this as either bz2, zip or gzip and then decompress that on my machine. So that did I did. I put it on my machine uh, I both try this on a Linux uh, machine and a Windows machine. So when I had downloaded that, I went ahead and did these four procedures. And you need a few dependencies in order to get this to work. First off, you need some kind of compiler. In Linux, uh, GCC is a very good compiler that you, you probably could use for this. Uh, in Windows, you can use uh, Visual, Visual Studio 14, I believe. No, 17 was uh, the version I tried with. So these are the compilers that I uh, had to add in. Uh, and the w Visual Studio 17 was just compiling C co code and just added the uh, standard packages, no, nothing extra uh, there. And actually, if you run this configure procedure here, it will tell you if there is something missing. And it's quite good at actually telling you what's missing. The One of the problem I had is that in Windows, if you run SIGWIN, which is recommended, and you have MSYS2 installed uh, previously, as I did, um, then those conflict. So if you don't install all the dependencies required in SIGWIN, you get very weird error messages because you already have a version of that program in your MSYS2 uh, installation. So you need them in your SIGWIN as well, or otherwise it will tell you that this zip is not, or this uh, exe file is not the correct one. So what you need more is uh, normal uh, package config. That's a, the standard thing that you use uh, to package things in a Linux environment. And you can use that in SIGWIN as well. That is needed for both. You also need make. Nothing strange there. Many things are built with make. You see down here that you actually use make in order to build this. And you also need zip utils. So unzip and zip. You need to install those, at least on Windows. I guess that you need gzip or uh, bzip on uh, Linux environments. 
I didn't I had all those tools already installed so there were no problem with that in the Windows environment it actually told me that my zip exe was the wrong version so I had to add that in order to get the right configuration in uh, Sigwin so therefore I know a little bit more of the dependencies but as you see here these are not any strange dependencies um, for this build you also need uh, one older version of the JDK and they accept either the same version that you build or the previous one so you can either build this with JDK 12 as I did here or JDK 13 the same version but you can't build JDK 13 with JDK 11 for instance for some reason so they had some restrictions there and uh, either you have your Java home set to this specific version already I run Java 8 on my machines so uh, I thought the easiest way was just to supply the Java home as a parameter to this command so first I run this bash config this will configure my environment and set it up so you can actually build the JDK nothing strange there it will tell you if any dependencies are missing after you run that you run make images and this will create all the images that your platform can build uh, so for instance it could build both a 64 ver uh, bits version and 32 bits version for instance it can build for bit uh, different architectures and so on and this can be configured mine just build uh, windows version with 64 bit support because that's my operating system and in linux it's the same there 64 bits uh, then you can actually run this command down here which will look in the build directory for any uh, image so it's actually uh, this is this is the place where the image tag is so if you are cd into the directory structure you will see here which different versions were built and then you look in the image directory here you see the open jdk and everything below jdk here can or this jdk directory can be copied out and used on any other machine of the same architecture so this is the actual build directory and you can zip that and move it somewhere else if you like and if you run this command here you will see that you actually have a built java that is fun functioning showing you a specific version which specific version this is um, in my case you can see if i still have this on screen here so i can copy this little script down here so you can see what the output will be so here you see that i built an open jdk version 13 and the date i built it the uh, runtime environment here open jdk you see uh, you my username down here and so on so this is uh, what you see if you build it and this command is recommended on the site if you are looking for build uh, OpenJDK from source you will find the documentation on the OpenJDK page and they will tell you to run this run test tier 1 in Linux that works fine in Windows I actually saw that it was missing some more dependencies but as I was able to run all the things that I wanted to test in Windows uh, without running these tests and I'm not going to create a build for someone else to use I thought it was just fine to skip the tests in this case so this is how you build the OpenJDK it's very simple and uh, you just keep in mind what which dependencies are required for your platform uh, I hope that you found this video interesting I hope that you learned something today if you have any question about this build process or if you have problem with any dependencies leave them down in the comment section down below uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do that and I really hope to see you in the next video